Hey, no nonsense, no out here. Today, I want to share my experience of what was causing the P2118 code on this 2015 Lexus RX350. Also, I'm going to show you where the fuse boxes are located. Give me a thumbs up, comment, and subscribe if you find this helpful. I definitely appreciate that. It helps out my channel a lot. All right, so the quick backstory here is the customer had to jumpstart their vehicle in, more, in the morning, and ever since they did, the check engine light came on, and they had no throttle response. When, they, when you hit the throttle on this, it goes up just to 1800 RPM, so it's in limp mode. It has set the P2118 throttle actuator control motor current range performance. The first thing you're gonna check for this code is your fuses. You have to make sure we're getting power to the electronic throttle control system. One fuse box is located right here. You just pull up on this, this front tab in the front to pop that cover down, they're all labeled. However, the fuse box under the hood is gonna contain your ETCS fuse. So go ahead and pop these four clips off. You get a screwdriver under them, you can get these right out of your way. And then you got one, two, three, four. Get this out of your way. You can go inside the fuse box right here, pushing that forward, lifting up. And we can see we have a nice diagram here. All right, so we can see our 10 amp ETCS fuse is right here. So that's gonna be right above this 15 amp right here. So go ahead and pop that fuse out and check it. Long behold, this fuse is blown. So this is one of your micro mini fuses. These are a little bit rare because they're mostly on newer vehicles. So now I'm gonna go ahead and pop a new fuse in there, clear out the code, and now if this pops again, you have a wiring issue, something shorting out, but if it doesn't, then more than likely they just jump started this car wrong or something like that is what, co what caused the fuse to pop. One quick tip for you, if you ever don't have a printout of what the fuses actually are, you can take a test light like this, hook one side to negative, and then run down the whole fuse box, hitting each side of the fuse. When you find a fuse like this one where one side lights, but the other side doesn't, you know that fuse is blown. All right, so after popping that new fuse in and clearing out the code, you can see now I have good throttle response. Everything seems to be working. So I'm gonna assume him jump-starting this vehicle for some reason, he might've hooked it up wrong, backwards, or I don't know, but he popped that fuse like that. <clears throat> of course, if you put the new fuse in and it blows right away you're gonna have to go back and check all your wiring and make and find that short so anyway tried to keep this short sweet and simple please give me a thumbs up if it helped i definitely appreciate that and subscribe if you want to see more to the point videos thanks a lot